Well, here you going, everyone. Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome Christmas this week, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're able to spend it with your family and friends or whoever you spend it with. Really hope you had a really good day this Christmas and whatever you did maybe after Christmas as well. Maybe you didn't celebrate Christmas on Christmas Day, but nevertheless, hope you celebrated it really well, everyone. Hope you didn't eat or drink too much, but... Hope you had a really good time nevertheless and maybe got a couple of Hot Wheels related gifts for Christmas or gave some Hot Wheels gifts to other people for Christmas maybe or whatever. Maybe you just just had a really good Christmas in with the family and that or whatever you did everyone. Really hope you had a good good day and really hope you, you had a really good week as well. Well these are pretty much my finds for the week ladies and gentlemen. Got a few cars in the mix today what... I've wanted to show for some weeks now, but haven't been able to because of other cars, what I have shown. But nevertheless, I will be showing you the Tamikas and the Red Lines. We'll save the Red Lines for last. Got some other stuff here from an Australian seller off eBay. We'll get to them prob probably just in a sec, but we'll just look at these guys just here. Well, went to the shop yesterday. I think yesterday was Saturday. Yes, it was. And... I thought, well, probably won't be much at the shop anyway because of the way Christmas was. But surprisingly enough, found a couple of cars on the pegs. Got the old 2013 Copo Camaro. I'll definitely be doing one of them as a as a custom. I got some. Oh, uh, yeah, I got one somewhere else in the room here, probably with all my customs to do just there. So it's a big, big pile. So looking forward to probably doing something with that. Save that one for just in a second. Finally, finally found turbine time. The old truck with the turbine engine in it. Really, really was excited to find that. I really wasn't expecting to find it. But I think I said to Dad just before I left, I thought, I said, um, wouldn't it be good if I found that turbine truck? And what do you know, I found it. So they're really happy with that. It looks like an old Mac or something like that. So really, really happy with that. I'll definitely be doing a wheel swap with that. It, at some stage maybe and also found a sort of a little error on the Buick as you can see it's got Mr. Gasket Co there hopefully it'll focus and as you can see probably just just below the G there it looks like it's tampoed on again as well I hope that's clear enough for you all so a little bit of an error I know I haven't really found too many but I really don't seem to look anymore but I thought that was pretty cool nevertheless I do like that Buick I wouldn't mind getting another one to do a wheel swap on or whatever at a later stage. So, some finds from the shop. Pretty happy to find some newer cars because it's pretty much just been un unindated at the shops with just old stuff, really. But still really happy to find all those. Really, really happy indeed. And I said I was going to get to these ones, I think, next. But I think we'll get to the Tamikas. These come all the way from Hong Kong. And there's some really cool ones in the mix. And... What I never really knew was that Tamika actually did the Cars Cars, and of course Dad jumped on them. Well, I made sure I let him know about it. He loves his Cars Cars and some models they don't do in the normal run. Got old Mater here as an ambulance. That one is really, really cool. I know Dad was excited about that. And Lightning McQueen is a police car. Now that looks really awesome as well. Really, really happy with those. And these two here are... I guess you could say mine, the old Ramon, the Impala, as a fire department vehicle. Really love that. And I couldn't resist Jeff Gorvat, of course. I love Jeff Gordon. And I really liked um, his car in the movie as a Corvette, of course. Of course, he's going to be a Chevy. So that one's really, really nice. They're all really well detailed. The, the cars, cars, Tamikas, and even... Tamikas in general are really nice, and I bought a few other ones as well for myself. The old Corvette here didn't have that. Really, really cool. Opening doors and that, which is really great detail, because Hot Wheels and Matchbox don't seem to do that anymore. Really, really nice. And some Isuzus. I do love my Isuzu trucks. Got, I think these are there's some Elfs. Really, really nice. That's the... Yamazaki truck, I think that's what it said, and this one's just just another transportation truck, and I've been after this one for a little while as well, the old ambulance one. You can pull the side out a little bit like that, which is a really nice little feature. That one's really, really cool. I love that, and probably my one of my favorites of the lot was the dump truck. I 
been after one of these for a while as well and yes that is made out of die cast the bed on that tipper that is really really awesome because you don't see metal tippers anymore really really happy with that as well so got a good deal on those all the way from Hong Kong postage was pretty cheap as well from Hong Kong surprisingly enough but really really happy with those finally glad to share share them with you all and just some stuff here off an Australian seller there was um, I did show dad there was a couple of bikes because he loves collecting all these bikes and everything he was pretty happy to get these um, they, they were a part of a lot the other cars in the lot weren't really anything to ooh -ah about this is an old um, 90 Sizzler as well that one's pretty freaky looking but I guess that's what they did back in the 90s pretty much lots of unusual designs that's not too bad I don't mind the old Sizzlers and just a couple of bikes dad wanted for his collection as well they're all really nice they seem to be a lot more detailed and a lot more bigger than the ones you see in the shop now but still nevertheless really good I really like that one that one's probably my favorite of the lot and this guy here the old hot shots now they're quite rare in my opinion and how the hot shots worked you pull the rip cord back there and you let it go and I think it either does a wheel stand sparks fly behind it and everything like that there was a couple of vehicles released in the series I have in the collection two loose ones and one carded and this one makes three loose ones now so looks like an old um, salt flat racer if you ask me there is another color variation of this one it is in a gray um, I don't know the name of this one unfortunately but I'm pretty sure there was a metal strip what went across there and attached itself to maybe the front wheels I know that there was a couple of cars and well vehicles in the lot there was a I think Bustin Bronco or something like that that one's pretty hard to find there was um, a couple of slingshot dragsters um, I got one of, well got that one in the collection the slingshot dragsters and there was a motorbike as well with a rumbler rider that one's quite hard to find as well but I was pretty happy to get this one because I really don't see them the only ones I've seen are off my man mate or when I've gone to my die cast meet and found a couple there I've and that's pretty much on a rare basis so really really happy to find one of these because I absolutely love collecting the old series from Hot Wheels whether it's the Hotline trains the Sizzlers you name it I love finding them no matter where they might be and the old Hot Shots is a pretty good idea as well I'm surprised she held up because it's pretty much made out of plastic but really good condition that part still works which I'm surprised at but I guess that's what you get with old toys they made sure the quality was right up there so that one's really really nice very glad to find another one of them for the collection because I love finding the old stuff and pretty much last but not least all these red lines here I've wanted to show for quite a while as well I think pretty much same amount of time I've wanted to show the Tamikas and that I've got the old I think it's called the An Angelo or something like that based on a Ford J car the old Sizzler I really really love that one really cool looking car love the red on it as well really really nice all the tent well I believe that's all the stickers on it or someone done that themselves still looks pretty good in my opinion really really cool looking car love finding the old sizzlers and got some other ones as well got the old Shelby turbine really cool interesting story with the Shelby turbine and probably a bit of a sad story as well why they don't use turbines anymore um, I think a guy came to Carol Shelby with an idea about the Shelby turbine Ken Wallace I think it was and he put the idea out there to Carol Shelby and I think they pretty much built up a car but I think they withdrew it after um, a pretty bad racing accident with the Lotus turbines I think one of the drivers got killed in that and I think Bruce McLaren and uh, and, uh, and another guy were set to drive the Shelby turbines but they, I think they quietly withdrew after what happened pretty much because that that's a bit sad what happened that the guy passed away in a racing accident with a turbine but I think they were just pretty unreliable I guess the old turbine engines but still really cool little stories behind it like as I have said in the past all the time there was well cars were run by turbines or produced to 
run on turbines, even locomotives as well, trains with the Union Pacific Railroad, they were powered by gas turbines and that, so a lot of things were powered by gas turbines or turbines back in the day, but I guess they really weren't as good as maybe petrol engines anyway, so that one's really cool in the Spectra Flame Brown, really nice looking car, I know I'll be hunting a few more of them down because I do like the idea of turbines and that I'd really really cool little power plant in the cars a bit odd in my opinion but still really cool nevertheless we'll leave the chaparral to last I think got the old um I think it's the demon or the prowler that one's really cool in the enamel orange been after this one for a while as well got a lot of these at really decent prices I th prices I think some of them were under ten dollars they were that cheap really love the paint scheme on this one as well really nice looking car as well and got the old swing and wing unfortunately the wings are reproduction but i guess that's what you have to get sometimes the old reproduction wing to make it look authentic i guess but i believe that's in magenta really nice looking color that is and the old little engine part at the back there slides out which is a nice little feature and the last ones in the lot uh, probably one of my favorite cars to collect the old chaparral got the old um white enamel one here and funnily enough i took a little bit of a gamble on this one because i already had this one in the collection i thought oh i'll get it see if there's a variation with the um with the opening compartment there with the um stopper and that and what do you know there was as you can see there there's two metal parts there's one what catches the top part on the bottom chassis, if that makes sense. Whereas on the one I have, well, have had in my collection previously, it does not. As you can see, it's just one little bit on the bottom and the top part does not have anything to stop. So that one's a really nice little variation. I do love my variations and I believe they're both USA bases as well, which is really cool. And this one's got the 99 sticker on it really love my chaparrales and yes the wings are reproduction but with the reproduction part on the chaparral i do know of i think it's a lot more sturdier plastic than the original release but i still rather the original version if you ask me but but at the end of the day it still makes the car look pretty awesome nevertheless and the, the winnipeg which was released back in the 70s a lot more later on than these guys here these were released i think back in the um, the late 60s pretty much to the early 70s whereas this one was released after 1973 with the enamel coloring and that that one's got a repo wing as well you can tell because it's pretty darn strong and probably one of the hardest to find cars in my personal opinion i know i've been after one for quite a while but i think all the ones i've seen are pretty much around 50 dollars plus and if you want a really mint one i think you'd be paying Roughly maybe around a hundred dollars or so for one, but that's just my opinion everyone But I got this one for I think pretty much under seven dollars. It was that cheap So I'm happy with that glad to have one in the collection. I love my chaparrales powered by Chevrolet Chevrolet engines back in the day a lot of them and driven by Jim Hall Really well probably my favorite Can-Am car if you ask me love the old chaparrales and this one's always been on my most wanted list. I love the colours, the old enamel colouring from back in the 70s. Really stands out in my opinion. Really nice indeed. Well, that is it for the video this week, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you did enjoy. Hope you had a good Christmas yet again, everyone. And I really hope you have an awesome New Year as well. Whatever you're doing, maybe something with the family all together or just having a quiet one at home. Really hope you, hope you have some fun, everyone. Maybe have a drink or two or even... Have something to eat, of course you got to have that anyway, but don't eat too much, everyone. Well, that's it for this week, everyone. Have a good new year, and remember as always, happy hunting, keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone. See you next year.